Since we have already talked about angular modules and components in our previous video, it is now time for us to create our first angular component and know it better using an example to walk you through the process. Let us get started and launch our angular application that we have created in one of the previous part of this series. I am simply navigating to the project directory and right clicking to select this open in VS code option. Let us open the terminal window where we can write the commands for our project. For that you can either go to view and then select terminal or you can also simply use the shortcut control plus backtick. Now let us serve this application ngs. Now for creating a component run the following command ng generate component and then component name. Let us name it home and hit enter. This command tells Angular CLI to generate a new component named home. It creates several files for us including HTML, CSS, TypeScript and a test file. You can also see it here. This, this, this and this. And notice that it has also updated something in our app module.ts. Now let's explore the generated files. home.component.ts this is where you define your component's logic and properties. Home.component.html This is the HTML template for your component. Home.component.css This file contains the component styling and Home.component.spec.ts This is the test file for your component. Now, let's say I don't want to have a test file for now. In this case, you can simply get rid of it by either deleting it manually or at the time of creation of your component, you can modify the command. For example, I want to create a login component. Then I'll simply type ng space g. g here is shorthand for generate c. c is again shorthand for component and then component name. Login in our case. And then hyphen hyphen skip hyphen tests equals true. And hit enter. And you will see login folder created with three files this time and again some updation in your app.module.ts. So you see we have created a login component but this time it is not containing a spec.ts. file. Now let's go to the change tracker here and observe the change in our app.module.ts file. You can see the modifications in this file highlighted here. So Basically, CLI has registered our newly created components in the declaration array and it is importing these components from their respective locations. One thing to note here is that it is always important to register your component in the declaration array so that it is available throughout the module it is registered in. Now, if you look at the home and login components creation command, you will notice that you have nowhere mentioned the folder name to put these folders inside but it is always creating components inside the folder and giving it same name as your component name. But what if I want to create a new component without putting it inside a folder? For example, I want to create a component named app2 in the same hierarchy as my app component is residing at. In this case, I'll simply write ng space g space c component name which is app2 here and then hyphen hyphen flat and hit enter. You can see here app2 component is created successfully and it is not residing in any folder. There can be another common scenario where you want to create a component inside a specific folder. Let's say for example I want to create a logout component but this time I want to put it inside the login folder. And for that I can simply type ng space g space c then the component name but this time it is gonna get prefixed with the path which in our case is login forward slash logout and then hit enter so you will find logout component inside your desired location. Let's see. Yes, here it is. And now before I continue I would like you to have a look at many other options related to generate component command. And for that, let's go to the official website of Angular, which is angular.io. Here it is. 
and then I'll go and look for ng generate and then component because we are gonna look at the component related commands and you can find all the available options that you can pass in ng generate component command guys you might not understand all the commands for now but I can assure that by the end of our tutorial series you will definitely understand all of these very well now let us try to understand home.component.ts file you will see a component decorator and without this decorator it is a simple class named home component with component decorator which you can clearly see that it is being imported from angular core and inside this decorator there is this selector property the selector is like a custom HTML tag you can use to render your component in other parts of your application for our home component, the selector is app-home and you can use it anywhere in your HTML to include the home component. For example, I'll just copy this, open the app.component.html file since it is a template file and inside this file, I'll include my home component using this tag app-home. Now I'm gonna save it, Control s and here you will see that the component is getting rendered. Now similarly, I can also include the login component. For that, let's go to the login component. I'll change some text here, put it inside heading. Let's give it some heading login component and then I'm gonna close it and done. Now I'll copy its selector from the TS file, copy now I'll go back to the apps component template file here it is paste it and save here our heading is being rendered successfully and guys you can also play around by rendering this component multiple times by duplicating this selector like this control V V V again done you see the magic here we are still left with a couple of things to learn about components that we will cover in our next part. So if you are new to the channel, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching. Happy coding guys.